The Black Terror was not trained in the level of boxing that was out in that day. The Black Terror was doing things that they didn't understand. Moving his head, all those kind of things. Those are the things that we don't give credit to of how boxing developed through African uh, boxing developed, footwork, bobbing and weaving, Philly shell, all of that stuff. You know, who did that? Even Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. When you talk about the peekaboo, any of us are old enough, you know, that's Brooklyn. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's Brooklyn, yo. That's, that's Jailhouse. What's the name of it? Jailhouse Rock. Why they call it Jailhouse Rock? The Rock. The Rocking Motion. Thank you, sir. That's why you got to understand the history. The 52s is not like Jailhouse. The 52s is off the cards. But the 52 is the most powerful, most known, and it it, it it comes from that foundation. But it's not. The jailhouse rock is always with the rock. But when you see my, my Tyson with Customata, they out there, oh, Customata. No, no, that's Brooklyn. We all know that nobody ever said that. But read about the Black Terror. The Black Terror, he didn't like it because the uh, Black Terror was like Jack Johnson. He had a white wife. And this kid, and somebody would say something about his kid, and he would, this little dude's getting hung. But you ain't getting hung if you're a bad dude. He's a bad dude. You know, he's just opposite. He's far away, far away. Right? Far away. He knows black. But uh, the black terror, his wife was white, like Jack Johnson. And people say he didn't like being called black terror. And the reason why I posted this was because when I tell you about it, y'all would dismiss it. Not saying y'all. But certain folks are dismissed. But the guy, the English guy, I want to tell you about the black terror. And he knew all the history. Years ago, I go back to this is the grandmaster here of our history. Because when I was with Dr. Clark, and I was with, of course, my father, Dr. J, learning how to research. That's what education does. Learning how to research, to find out things. And I was among these guys, and they were teaching me how to find out these different stories and these different things that were coming about. But what happens today is, a lot of you guys, a lot of guys who are talking about 52, they're just a bunch of street dudes who've done no research and making a lot of jailhouse stories. And you know, people like chaos, they like anarchy, and they don't like the truth. So I said it was kicking because it was called knocking and what? Kicking! Before 52, before Carolina chaos. This is what these guys taught me. To research it, look it up. Oh, not you kicking. Okay? Before the Virginia Shuffle. Virginia Shuffle. You ever saw footwork? Yes, sir. My Muslim, every single African tribe has a martial arts system. Every single one. And every single one that got put in slave over here was part of that system. Was here in it only makes sense. It only makes sense. So this guy, the Black Terror, he didn't like that name. He didn't like that name. He thought it was derogatory. He thought it was condescending. So when people say, yo, that's the Black Terror, boom! He was knocking guys out. And as he had with this kid, look at this little, that little nappy head kid. Boom! He was knocking his dudes out. And ain't nobody was talking about hanging him either. Jack Johnson. Well, nobody talking about hanging Jack Johnson. You feel me? And y'all with no history, you get home for that. You ain't care about that. Because you nobody want to die. I said,